Hello, welcome back. Listen, we got some sad news to speak about today with One Direction star. Um, he goes by the name of Liam Payne. He has passed away at the age of 31. So young. Uh, they said that, you know, he was in Argentina, that he fell. They said he fell off the roof of his hotel room. And so I'm thinking, you know, he was on floor number 27, 30, 50, something like that. Girl, they said he was on floor, the third floor, and he fell off. I'm like, what? See, now, when I initially heard it, I thought that maybe it was, you know, that he, you know, took himself out. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, okay, maybe he was troubled and going through some things, stressed or something like that, and that he, you know, either fell by accident or, or jumped himself. But when they said the third floor, I'm like, girl uh why would you think about jumping off the third floor because usually that is not a big enough fall to you know take somebody off out automatically now if you fall a certain type of way yeah it will but sometimes that fall can be like honey you done broke all your bones and you still here and that's suffering so i don't know what's the energy around that we're gonna pull some cards and see what's the energy around his, his passing but as he was training for his uh, death, he also was training for other things. They said that he was training for some type of allegations that came up about him. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, is this trending now because he passed away? Or was this something that was already trending? I didn't see it before. Uh, I did read one article that said that his 19-year-old girlfriend, now he's 31, he had a 19-year-old girlfriend that said that he tried to uh, force her to get rid of a baby uh, in at home without medical care, medical attention, or anything. So like, how she was gonna do that? And what was he planning on doing? How? Uh, I'm so confused. So and bless her 19 year old heart. She done got with a 31 year old man, probably an idol that she probably liked ever since she was a teenage girl, because she still was a teenager at 19, and just went through the ringer with him. They said that she contacted her lawyer and she was about to file some type of paperwork, maybe even a lawsuit against him. I didn't, girl, I didn't finish up the article because all those ads was popping up. I didn't get to see what was the end result. But I wonder, was he distraught because of all the allegations that was coming against him? Or did somebody say they was fed up with him and took him out? Or did he do it to himself? I don't know. Uh, but we're going to see what these cards have to say. Because I did a reading on him two years ago that showed that he was going in the wrong direction. He was going in one direction when he was with the group, baby. He went, he was took a wrong turn and was going in another direction back then. Two years ago, I think he was married and cheating on his wife and everything like that. It was just so much that was going on with Liam. So I wanted that he have some type of substance issue. Probably. Uh, I don't know for sure, though. So let's go ahead and pull these cards and see what these cards have to say about Liam Payne and his passing at the age of 31. What is the energy around Liam Payne and his passing at the age of 31? I mean, so young. But, I mean, I hadn't heard much about him. You know, most people come and ask for Harry Styles to ask for Zayn Malik. But I never hear nobody say they want to... Get, do a reading on Liam. Did y'all not care? I mean, not to be disrespectful because he's passing now, but I'm like, nobody never asked for that. I didn't, I, girl, I didn't even know. Two years ago, I did a reading on him because I think he was trending then. And I asked y'all then, why y'all didn't never ask for Liam? Well, girl, y'all didn't answer. So, girl, let's move on. So, let's see what these cards have to say about Liam and his passing. What's going on? Let's cut the cards and let's get into it. Okay. Let's put the cards there move this now let's see what's the energy around his past and we got the queen of swords we got a female here in the past we got somebody that was a lover and moving forward in the future we got the six of pentacles okay so i mean so far so good it's not showing nothing only thing that's concerning me is the queen of swords with this sword energy now the queen of swords initially you would think she is somebody that's intelligent that's smart you know she's not very loving or caring but she is one of those women that she wants the truth and nothing but the truth. But the fact that she has a sword, a sword can be considered a weapon. Uh, it, it could be a sword that represents her the way she speak. She could, you know, speak with intelligence, but at the same time, she'd probably be speaking with authority as well. And But this uh, seems like this Queen of Swords could possibly have been a lover's here. 
And I see a lot of smoke around her. Now, I don't know if she, girl, if she got tied up and pushed them over the ledge or what. But it's not showing that right now. But it is showing that there's some smoke around her. We're going to find out what that's about. And then we have this uh, Six of Pentacles here. The Six of Pentacles tell me that it was all about somebody giving pentacles. It also The pentacles can also represent health sometimes. Um, could there have been a health issue here that was going on here? But for the most part, we're going to say the Six of Pentacles is about giving. And sometimes you can be giving and hopefully you're receiving back. That's an equal give and take. Sometimes you try to balance things out, but then sometimes it's, it can be unbalanced. But the simple fact that somebody here won't, won't, won't take, take, take and never give anything back in return. And the way that I see this Queen of Swords facing this Six of Pentacles is like she got her hand out and she wanted some of those pentacles. Whoever she is. Now, this is somebody over the age of 25, which means it's not a girlfriend. It's not the 19-year-old girlfriend. Uh, we, this could be somebody that in the past was a lover to him. And she said, you owe me something. Give me my child support. Give me my money. Give me my alimony. I don't know. But she wants something. She got that hand out and she got that sword up, which means she ain't playing games with him. She said, listen here, you loser. Give me the money. Give me my money. I told you. I'm going to take you back to court. And so, she, in the past, she was a lover. She got her back turned to that lover card. She said, no, she's not a lover no more. So, it seemed like he probably owed somebody some money, uh, uh, this queen of swords. Now, let's see what's the challenge when it comes to this energy for Leo. Yeah, girl, he was trying to balance it out. And he was having a hard time balancing things out when it came to money. He said too many people want money from him. And he couldn't balance it out at all. Now, it seemed like he was walking some type of tightrope. Tightrope. And he, uh, you know, he, he was struggling in his personal life and his business life. He said, girl, I can't give you uh, all six of those pencils. I can give you two. You know, I ain't been booked and busy in a while. You know, I haven't went out on tour in a minute. Now, I don't know if he have or not, honey, but I heard that uh, the other one, Louis Thomason, he been out there packing out stadiums. They said that most people can't pack out a stadium. They said Louis still doing it. So, clearly... You know, if you kept your head on the, on the swivel, kept your head on the straight and narrow, um, Liam, you probably could have, well, probably, I don't know. I, like I said, I didn't hear any people ask for you, Mr. Liam. No disrespect. Okay, so let's see. Underneath all of this energy, what was going on here? We got the star card. So was he still trying to lead with his star, um, stardom? You know, being that star, he that's all he probably had to offer. It also speaks about something coming to public or something being public he may not now this is underneath his subconscious which means he probably didn't want something to come to public be public that's going to affect his reputation or something like that so he probably tried to keep something undercover here concerning this queen of sword pentacles um and also uh like again somebody that's that was a lover the major arcanas here is a star and a lovers here two two events here don't seem like it's it don't seem like anything too major here unless, again, this Six of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles was health. He was struggling with some type of health issue or maybe stressed out because of money issues that caused a health issue. But his subconscious was speaking... Oh, he, okay. Subconsciously, he was turning to maybe addiction. Uh, some type, something that was controlling him with this devil energy. This could be obsessed. He could be obsessed with someone. But or assess with a substance. This is an inner struggle. His inner demon demons was coming out. So we got the demon card here. Now the thing about it with this demon card or this devil card is right is right above his challenges. It was a challenge for him. But it's also subconscious is Either this was his way of dealing with this situation here when it comes to this female and this lovers from the past. Or in the past, that's probably how he, I don't know if he was with a lover who was toxic or he was toxic in that relationship. But both of these cards right here are almost like one and the same. Like this is the so-called good card, good way of loving. But even with the lover's card, it can have toxic elements to it okay depends on how much you claim you love somebody because a stalker can claim he love you too and it can go get out of control but we also have this devil card you see both of them both two relationships together they're connecting here they're chained together 
You got the angel here. You got the devil here. So this has something to do with maybe even a toxic relationship or a relationship that turned toxic. Started off good, turned toxic in some kind of way with a feminine energy over the age of 25. But this lover card is a past thing. His subconscious, which was something that was ruling everything, something that he was very much aware of and he was very in tune to, is his devil energy, which again is low vibrational energy, which some, he could have been doing a substance that's bringing his, low, his vibrations down. He could also be having, you know, either um, connected to some type of occult energy, taking the vow to something, or he ha having some type of... Uh, dependency on a, a substance that's making him turn dark that's what I'm seeing here now let's see what is his energy towards everything what is his feelings and attitude towards everything we got the justice card which legal issues again there goes somebody holding that sword again could be legal issues again with this queen of swords um, trying to balance out the justice scales this could also be the police finding out the truth about something. And you about to go to court about that. The truth has been revealed. If you got good integrity, you'll win. It could be fair. But if you don't, which I'm showing this devil energy, he may not have. He probably knew he was going to be found guilty. And he didn't want to face that justice issue or that legal issue. And he could have, you know, decided, you know, because he was struggling back and forth with his personal and, and real life situation with this devil energy it's like which one gonna win okay because we got this justice card here which is another major arcana a major event in his life that's affected that affected his passing now let's see what was his environment the energy around his environment we got the ace of wands now it seems like he may have wanted a new beginning or at least somebody in his environment, family, friends or something like that wanted him to have a new beginning. But it was something that could have possibly been manifested if he wanted. But you can't, your environment can't want you to be better if you don't want to be better. Now the Ace of Wands could be him, you know, at least talking like he wants to be better. But we got this smoke around this um, Ace of Wands as well, just like we had the smoke around the Queen of Swords. And things coming to the public here. And I, I, I think he's been hiding things for so long. Because where there's smoke, there's fire. And they said that, you know, the fire is his substance issue. This devil energy, this low vibrational energy. Whether you stealing, cheating, lying. You know, it, you're doing something that you ain't got no business. Okay, taking somebody's life. And like the 19-year-old girl said, he tried to take a baby's life. Ooh, I didn't mean to say that, but, you know. On YouTube, it's so it's so sensitive over here, and I get it. But there was some fire here that he started here, and it seemed like this uh, Queen of Swords was fighting back. Okay, now let's see what was his hopes and fears. Okay, we got the Empress. Okay, it could have been the Empress can be. Um, this is a mother figure. This is the mother of the of the tarot deck. She also could be somebody that's already a mother or pregnant you know pr you know she produces a child produces life she's a creator she also somebody that's very that's very loving as well but i do see that you know she may have needed protection yeah she may have needed protection and i'm also kind of, i don't know why i'm just picking up some type of um trans transmission uh tr like some type of either std or some type of sexual transmitted um disease i don't know why i'm picking that up i see that here with the ace of ones and the empress next together with this justice card uh was there an issue here concerning that that he did not tell her about or warn her about and she found out about it maybe while she was pregnant whoever this uh person is and then uh, what's the re end results of this? Okay, we got the high priestess. Okay, it's a lot of major arcanas going on with him here. This um, high priestess is speaking about secrets being revealed here. When the time is right, the secrets will be revealed about what happened he here and what's going on. There is, um, again, we got the high priestess, the empress, the justice card, the lover, 
the star and the devil card it's like it was way too much going on with him for him to take and and he seemed like he was dealing with it with maybe some type of substance or was i, I don't feel like he was mentally stable okay i feel like he was not mentally stable at all that's why he seemed like always wobbly walking a tight rope type of thing and you know girl if you have walking the tightrope you're gonna fall off you're gonna stumble and fall i wonder was he on the ledge of the hotel walking across the ledge and, and you know threatening you know giving out like i'm gonna i'm gonna jump i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and then slipped and fell that's why i'm kind of picking up because he was high or like i said this devil was on his shoulders okay devil on his back riding his back on his shoulder that energy was heavy on him and then Monday morning, maybe even had to go to a uh, court. Uh, I see, like, again, some type of justice situation. Uh, whether the police was called and he was trying to avoid the situation, avoid arrest, or avoid any type of lawsuit here. Okay, let's see what's at the bottom of the deck here. We got the Ace of Pentacles. Again, that could be some type of... Um, giving somebody something because there's smokers around here so i i sometimes see this as when it comes to health issue it can be some type of pill something that you was taking for your health or something that you felt like you was taking you know into your body that could affect him some kind of way the ace of pentacles can also be you know being offered something or given something followed by the food card okay again i see him not being oblivious like being naive looking forward looking ahead not looking down and falling off the edge falling and tripping off the edge and then it speaks about having faith taking a leap of faith so it, it seemed like he could have decided to take his own fate in his own hand and took a leap over the third floor and i'm like sir you didn't think that out because i wouldn't did no third floor i mean i wouldn't did none of it but a third floor definitely not baby i don't then we got the page of swords. Here go a, a young lady. This is somebody under the age of 25. Uh, stalking, looking over her shoulders. So, again, I feel like there was some type of stalkish energy here when it comes to this young female. And she needs some type of protection. And I think that either she, because she got the smoke around her here too. I wonder, did she hide herself? Did she abandon him in some kind of way to protect herself? And it was too much for him to handle. And he was like, if, if you know, if you're not here with me, uh, you know, I don't need to be here. I don't know. And then he, he took a leap of faith and took a faith, faithful fall or a faithful jump over the, the ledge at that hotel room in, in um, Argentina. All because this devil energy was on him. Again, it could be him taking some type of substance or just having that demonic type of thinking. Or even having um, the devil riding his back, like pressure, a lot of pressure, and maybe even hearing voices. I'm, I'm seeing, hearing voices as well. And he thinking, well, you know, that people are taking advantage of him or they want him for money. And if he ain't got the money, then he feel like he's useless. What's the point of him being here? Okay. I want to know more about this high priestess and this empress energy. What can we know about this high priestess and empress? Empress energy when it comes to Liam and his passing. Because it's so much major stuff going on. It's like, yeah, if you got all this major events going on in your life, secrets being revealed, because he really wanted to hide everything from the public. That's what he wanted. He didn't want to be publicly embarrassed. And since things about to be revealed, there was no way, there was no denying that it was he was going to be exposed. And it was too much. Give me more about the high priestess and the Empress. What do we need to know about that? Okay. Now, we got grieving. We got a grieving situation here at morning. So it seemed like um, there is, you know, grieving a loss. And it, it seems like he felt like all was lost. All was done. All was lost. There was nothing else to, to recuperate, to recover. There was no recovery here. At least that's what he's thinking. But it's like the more you cross the bridge and get over a hump and, and move forward. There are two cups there. You just can't see them right now because you're in the process of grieving in, in a morning type of in a dark energy. You're in a dark energy right now. And, and it's almost like, you know, feeling some type of regrets. 
very dark. He very dark place here, followed by the hermit. And in reverse, now the hermit when it's in upright is talking about you going in a dark place, you going into uh, solitude so that you can figure out what you want to do. But when the hermit is in reverse, I'm assuming that it's coming out of that solitude, coming out of that darkness. At least that's what you think. And then until you open up the internet and see that things are still going on, you're trending. Because right here, the high priestess is the one that's going to reveal, that's holding the cards. And she got her laptop open. And I see this card, this right here, they trying to, he probably had closed the laptop, closed everything, think everything was good. Probably was in hiding some kind of way. I don't know if he was hiding out some kind of way, but he was ready to come out. And looked at the laptop and saw that yeah things are still the same babe things are not good then we got the sun card here now the sun card is more of a positive type of card he probably had a positive outlook on something but it also can represent the sun the sun or a child so i'm still i'm seeing the child here so again oh okay so i'm seeing that maybe he you know the girlfriend the 19 year old I feel like he he knew that she probably was going to come out with a story that uh, about the baby, what happened to the baby. And he, you know, he didn't want that to come out in some kind of way. And it seemed like the that she could have possibly because of her, you know, being a mother, being pregnant or whatever, she was she was going through some type of grieving process. He probably was nowhere to be found. He probably went and hit hit out a little bit. And then when he found out that, oh, she done pressed charges or she done filed the report or she done filed the lawsuit or she done hired a lawyer. Uh, when it comes to this child energy, it seemed like that's what made her stand up. That made her stand up and, and take some type of action. And it's a legal action here. Because somebody wanted a new beginning. You know, the people around him want a new beginning. It's like you can't help somebody who don't want to be helped. So it's it's almost like save yourself, save your save yourself, save your your child, and then revealing everything, things coming out. And a girl, did she call a female lawyer and, and, and to reveal everything that's going on with him? Yeah, I think that was too much for him to handle. So he decided, yeah, to go ahead and be the fool because he had this on him. Tried to balance out as much as he could, walking the tightrope. To the point that he feel like, okay, if I'm walking and talk the tightrope in real life, let me go ahead and take this leap of faith. Because this right here, this energy was too dark for him. Okay, or he was too high one. It, it was too much for him, allegedly. And to the point that this young female here was looking over her shoulder. Didn't feel safe. And had her sword out, which means she was about to tell the truth and spill the truth. She no longer is... Seeing the clouds that's around her. She's no longer delusional. She's no longer um, willing to hide or cover up what was being done or said to her. And about to make it all public. So it seemed like he took some type of substance or pill or something like that. And yeah, and took a leap of faith for himself. And he made his own fate, his own decision. He wasn't going to let the court do it. And he said he was going to start over one way or the other. And he knew he wasn't going to start over going through the court system. Because the truth was coming out. Wow. Okay, what's at the bottom here? Okay, we got the two of ones moving forward again on this ledge. It's like he he read something and he finally saw that, yeah, she was serious. And he's on the ledge here. And he decided to move forward with his own plans. Because things was the water was swampy. Uh, things were to the point that it was mentally uh, too much. He, it was too much. And he was trying, like, somebody was moving away from the swampy waters, from the uncharted waters, trying to get into calmer waters. But we got all these swords here. It was like, it's too much for you to get out of this unscathed. Like, there's going to be some um, casualties here moving forward with this both energy. Deep in, deep in his emotions. And then we got the moon energy here. Now this could be represent night cycles, cycles of this, mental cycles of this, constantly, constantly happen. And it's like just tired of the cycles, can't you know? And then something being hidden that's coming to light with the moon here, because the sun is here. It's about to come to light, and just could not deal with it. How long can you hide 
uh, what's been going on with you and can you deal with another um, cancellation or scandal or anything like that because that's really going to mess with your money yep that's really going to mess with your money you're going to be out in the cold for sure sure yeah a lot of mental anguish here drama crying sad and that could be on both parts him you know? mental a lot of mental issues here that tried to be covered up for as long as it could and to people was getting hurt and it's just like yeah we can't cover this up no more and then he decided to take it take it himself to end it and it's almost like that's the way he chose for it to be a end into a because it was an end into a relationship it was an end into what he had going on in his life as well with the ten of swords and it's a lot of betrayal deception energy here a, a lot of it so it seems like he could have took something to kind of make the fall less i guess painful or less aware to kind of you know cause him to be kind of unstable very much unstable here i mean because the bottom of the deck is very unstable and then we got this young person having a new beginning starting over so that's going to be the reading for Liam right now that's what it's showing is it you know it seemed like he was very much unstable and it he'd been like that for a minute very much always walking on a tightrope always teetering top tottering back and forth uh very much in always in hot water in in a situation where uh, the water is always swampy is never clear and, and somebody just decided I'm going to move away from that and then I don't think he could handle another person leaving him and moving away from the situation or uh, so called abandoning him and he, and I guess he decided yeah he can't take it no more and so it seemed like he could have popped some type of substance to kind of numb himself and then you see him on the balcony here deciding to take a leap starting to deciding to take a leap here yeah and, and it, you know in his mind it was money issues he's like oh everybody leave when I don't have money it's like Lee I mean it ain't just money baby okay you over that broke and high baby that's too much okay okay anybody would leave on that note so um but you know regardless it's not a laughing matter and we're not laughing but it's just like life is hard life is hard and then and then when you have situations in it and then sometimes if you add on top of the situation and you try to numb yourself without dealing with it that makes it even worse and how how long are you gonna be high how long are you gonna be under the influence to try to cover it up because eventually that's gonna wear out then you're gonna keep on taking more and more and more and then it just got out of control at this point it got out of control and then you'll feel like people are abandoning you but it's like nobody's gonna stick through there and be stick through it with you to be tortured like really it's like how many times can somebody cry for you and mourn for you before you start mourning yourself and then before you get to the point that it's dangerous for them to even be around you because if you'll do that to yourself you'll do it to whoever that's closest to you and so called try to take them with you and it's like nah nah you know so it seemed like he was on that balcony himself and and for him to have a new start he decided to you know take it because he, he just been unstable this whole time very much given unstable energy and it was scaring people that was around him but very much grieving type of energy and who took it the worst is people who was in a relationship with him who loved him and the last thing you want to do is be in a relationship with somebody that you love and that you think loves you at least that's what you're thinking you don't want to leave nobody you know when they down and out and just for them to be in that devil energy always every time and it's like at some point you have to call the police girl you have to call the police because it's only so much you can take especially when you get to the point it's a you gonna produce a child or a baby and now you gotta you gotta be that person to stand up for that baby and that child and you gotta get away from it because he, he won't even take yourself out of the situation to the point that you have to watch over your shoulders and stuff like that. But the past person in his life did that too. So he got a history of doing that with all his lovers. So he took something to numb himself because he was out in the cold and money was money was money was gone. Okay. And I don't know what the devil energies I ran off to, baby. Oh, it's at the bottom of the deck again. Oh, I put it at the bottom of my deck with the moon, with the anxiety um depression 
pain and suffering so it's all the elements of somebody that could possibly you know decide to end it himself now because the only people that I, that showed up here was two women a, a, a woman from his past and also a woman a young woman here that's in his future and they all have a sword here to protect themselves okay they all see the truth and know the truth now and now they've got to protect themselves in some type of way and, and maybe even speak out and speak their truth when it comes to Liam so that's gonna be the reading okay may he rest in peace okay may he now have peace in his life because I feel like that's what you know what's the goal for him you know to have peace okay so y'all catch me on the next reading okay um I'll talk to you later bye